Hey there. I've been editing videos today and so forth and I'm going to an art exhibit opening tonight where a couple of my pieces are going to be in an exhibit for a month or so in Winston-Salem, North Carolina and which is a couple hours away so I don't have much time before I have to go but I wanted to get a pour in today I just had to I'm sorry so I had purchased these a long time ago and have not used them yet it's Arteza 24 acrylic colors premium and it lists all the color names and it comes in four tiers of paint and I don't remember what I paid for it it was 24 of them and they're all like 0.74 ounces so less than an ounce of paint but they're tube paint and it says premium and so I figure the uh, the pigment will be much stronger than usual and I'm going to use Oatrol Easy Flow which is a European company and it's similar to Floetrol in America and um, you either have to get it from Amazon or from Oatrol I think there's a location in Miami so I'm going to do a one to one ratio and water in my red bottle here H2O if I need it so I'm trying to decide what colors I want to use but yeah I got this on Amazon I think and it was they were running a special and I saw it my son actually pointed it out I think and um, I paid twenty dollars or less for all of these tubes so that is what I'm going to experiment with today I'm going to use my white and this to base coat my canvases with it, just skim coat them and I'm going to use 12 by 12 inch canvases I've got two of them and I think I want to do something in the green family and maybe something in the red to violet range so and I only need about five ounces of paint for each canvas so I think I'm going to mix two colors for each one so I'm going to do the pale green know how much to use really because it says it's premium paint so this is an experiment emerald or thalo green Ooh, la, 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 la. I know thalo green is going to be blue, more bluish and they also have little symbols on them which I'm sure mean the transparency of the color like one of them has a half a little symbol, one's a full symbol, so that must mean it's opaque. There's ultramarine, it's like an empty square, so that must mean it's transparent. But anyway, I'm going to go with the phthalo green. So I'm not using a whole heck of a lot. And let's go with... Violet. I like to go with purples because it's one of my favorite colors and it is the color of the year. Let's see how the rose looks. Yeah. It's kind of that more magenta colored look. I expected it to be like really rosy but it's I mean it is rosy <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit more from one to one just to make sure I have enough paint for a 12 inch canvas so I'm doing them all about the same little one ounce cups 
I could do a third little bit of a color. Zanita's uh, Titanium Gold. So I'm going to just, for the heck of it, throw in a little bit of a metallic that's kind of subtle. That bottle. Let's take a little Oatrol in that. These are one ounce cups, but they're going to be filled up to the brim. And then I'm going to put some water in this Oatrol bottle. Anytime you get to the end of a bottle of anything that's like pouring medium and it's valuable to you, I add water to it and try to get every last drop of it. Got a lump of something there. So all of these I need to add water to. The paint is a little bit thicker than I need it to be. The champagne gold color, titanium gold, it's okay. It doesn't need water. These two paints are thicker, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to each one. I'm going to use my white. It's the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic mixed one to one with Oatrol and a little bit of water. I'm going to use that and the black, which is the Artist Loft Black Flow Acrylic. So I'm going to use both of those and put these away. All kinds of colors I would like to use though, but I'm just doing small canvases today. I was just going to use one color with white and black, but I decided to, to go ahead and do two colors with white and black and then add the, sh the uh, Titan Gold in. So that's Arteza. This is Coconut Milk by OGX. I'm going to add a kind of a half of a pump. It's not even a full pump because a full pump is quite a bit. The white and black have no silicone in them and this white has no silicone. So let's start with the purple and rose color. Got push pins on the back of my canvas. Sometimes when you have a, a paint in a container and the lid comes off, it has dry paint that sticks around the edges of the lid. And so you get a little bit of that dry paint that falls into your, when you're pouring it out, unfortunately. So this does not have to be perfectly level. I'm just trying to cover the canvas pretty well. This will hold about five ounces of paint or so. So I'm going to start with a little bit of white. Purple. Rose. Some of this Titan Gold. A little bit about the black. More gold, a little white, purple, gold, rose, gold, black. I just wanted to do some straight out dirty pores. I like to just fling it on there sometimes. <laughs> Gonna heat it. Some people ask why you use a heat gun. The heat gun is to pop bubbles and then if you want to pull out your cells, it'll kind of do it a little bit quicker than if you just sit and wait on it. So.
some pretty good sales. All right. I'm pretty pleased with that. So there that is. It came out with some pretty good sales and I love the colors. So I'm not going to stretch it anymore. And if you keep moving it around, then you lose your your bigger cells. So I hate these gloves. I'm gonna move this away. This photo paper. Some pretty, pretty cells. So the great thing about butcher paper, this is dried from yesterday. You can, if the paint is thick enough, you can pull it right off of butcher paper. That's what I love about butcher paper. These are drips from yesterday. Even this uh, smeared paint right here, you just kind of catch it with your fingernail and you can pull it or scrape it off. The dried paint just scrapes right off. But I mean, it's dirty because I have smeared and smeared. But I could keep going over this with soapy rag and get it almost back to the white just to say how well it cleans up. It's just I just love the butcher paper. And that is always in my link below in the Amazon recommendations. Pull out my second canvas here really quick. Spread out my white paint. And because I'm letting it pour over the edges, it does not have to be perfect or anything like that. Just a quick coat on top and then you're kind of it kind of helps guarantee that your your paint is going to flow over it pretty easily <clears throat> I put I put too much on this one for sure so I'm gonna start my uh, my cup for the dirty pour white this phthalo green. Then the limeier green. Do a little champagne, titan. I keep calling it champagne, titan gold. Black, a little bit. White. Then we'll switch back and go a different direction. Do the lighter green. The deeper green. Black. Titan gold, some white, finish out the gold, little black, finish out the dark green and the lighter green. I have no idea what these will turn out looking like. It's just experimenting. This is where you kind of begin, you know. For beginners, it's just working with a, a few colors and just doing a dirty pour. Trickle a little white there. Just doing a dirty pour and just seeing what happens on your canvas. That's 
the, the fun of starting with acrylic pouring if you're just beginning before you get into swiping and all the other stuff. It's just, you know, learning how to pour colors together, combinations of colors, that kind of thing. Already some great cells. Let's see. A couple of lumps. They weren't bubbles, so I'm just trying to get them out. This has some great cells going on. If I can just keep them. Making sure my corners are covered. This one has big, fat, juicy, plump cells. It's very uh, Ninja Turtle-ish or something. I like it though. Green is not one of my favorite colors, but I do love to use it in pores, I have discovered. So, there that is. And, you know, I could, I can... Just out of curiosity, I can heat it again and see if more small cells pop up, but I don't know that I want, I don't need any bigger ones, that's for sure. So that made more cells pop up for sure. I probably didn't need to do that. But it is what it is. And I am going to take a little of this green combo. Go back over this corner. I don't like these corners. This one maybe if I can get a little of that lime or green. Okay. And my purple one that I just did, it may pop up with a lot more cells. I didn't hit it with the heat gun, but it may kind of do the same thing. But that's, that's, what happens on this is I mix my colors fresh. They're not my squeeze bottles, which are stored and I shake them. And that's why I have a lot of little cells when I do my swipes, which I love. So if you want bigger cells, you mix your colors fresh. This was Oatrol and Arteza paint. And then I did a half of a pump of the coconut milk. If you do a full pump, it's a lot of silicone going into your paint. And I only poured with about five ounces of paint, tops. So you put the half pump of coconut milk into your colors and you barely stir it. Just give it a swirl and that's that. And then, so when you pour, then you heat it if you want to plug your cells kind of right away. And then those cells you can stretch when you tilt your canvas. If you just pour it and tilt it, the cells are going to pop up slower. And like this, over time, the cells would have popped up on their own. But because I heated it, it goes faster. So after you pour your paint, if you heat it, and those cells come up, then you tilt, you're going to have bigger, stretched out, plumper cells like these bigger ones, like this, if you want that bigger cell kind of look. So, I'm going to try to pick this one up without messing it up. I do love it. It's very, there's a lot of cell action going on. And of course, I always post pictures at the ends of my videos of the dried paintings. They're always at the end and they're always dry. They're not pictures of the wet paintings. So that's, I wait to post my video until I have dry paintings to show you. So there's the greens. 
I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.